I sort of fancied him, but when he suggested that I could come back and stay the night at his place at Buckingham Palace, I thought this is a chance I've got to say yes to. A few years ago, I started to make a list of all the men I'd met through sex. But then it became something more. I think the conversation's shifted a little bit. It's like, we know you're gay, we don't care that you're gay, shut up about it. So if you knew you were gay, why did you get a girlfriend? I was going to tell people back then. The public hatred towards gays and lesbians was really at its zenith. Children who need to be taught to respect traditional moral values are being taught that they have an inalienable right to be gay. Well, there was nothing in the magazine that you could object to. I mean, you couldn't have seen the outline of a cock even if you wanted to. It just wasn't there. I both went off and sought Christian healing to deal with the homosexual issue in my life. And then I was also wandering the streets of Amsterdam trying to connect with that. What has happened over the last 40 years is absolutely fundamental to where we are today. We have achieved an enormous amount. The Castro has basically turned into gay Disneyland. Our sacred spaces are being completely eliminated as a result of that. We had a ghetto for a while. We possibly can't live in that ghetto anymore.